welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. So we're going to do another example on the NFA to regex conversion. And this one's going to be slightly larger than the previous one. And there's actually a very good reason why I want to actually do this. So here is again going to be three states. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two of the states be final. So Q1 and Q2. And what I'm going to have is three transitions between all of the states, A, B, and C. So here, again, I'm going to make this completely up. Um, th there's no particular reason why um, I'm making this particular NFA. It's just off the top of my head. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have A and B here. Uh, a and this one really is an NFA because of some non-determinism here with the A transition epsilon and whatnot. So here I'm going to have a self loop on B and C, and uh, let's see. So then maybe we'll come back to here on uh, A. Okay. So uh, this might actually accept everything. So maybe I'll. I'll change this. Uh, yeah, so let, let's actually just leave it like this. I don't want it to ha have language be sigma star because that, that would be really easy. Um, although the r resulting regex might not be easy to see that. Okay, so then now, of course, we got to do our construction right here, which involves making a brand new start state. I, again, I'm going to call it S. And here, what I'm going to do is we're going to make these non-final again, make our final state F just like before, epsilon transitions over. So now let's actually try to be a little bit smarter on what, 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 trans, what states we should actually rip first. So my usual um, standard of what state to rip is try to figure out the number of transitions you need to add and then pick the one that minimizes that. So the number of transitions that we'll have to add is the number of transitions going in times the number of transitions coming out. So for this state right here, we have one, two transitions coming in and two transitions coming out. So that, therefore, we would have to add four transitions. For Q1, we have one coming in and two coming out. So that means we have one times two, which is two transitions. For this one, we have two coming in and two coming out, so we would have to add four transitions. So usually it's the, a good idea to pick on the states that minimize that number. So Q1 is going to be my pick this time. So let's try to rip Q1. So again, I'm going to copy this whole machine down. So paste. So then now we got to make our in and out lists. So remember, the in list is the states that go into Q1. So I'm going to attempt to remove it. The states that go into Q1, out is the list of states that Q1 actually goes to. So the in list is only going to be Q0 because that's the only state that goes into it or went into it. Um, the out list is going to involve Q2 and F. So Q2 and F. So now let's process these in pairs, just like we did before. So let's do Q0 and Q2. So how did the Q0 go into Q2? It had B or C, so that's B union C. We have uh, A union B on the self loop here. So that means to process it, we would have A union B whole thing star. And then to get to Q2, we have it at this A right here. So the, oops, in totality, we have the epsilon transitions already here, a union, whatever this uh, path actually gives us. So what this will give us is epsilon, and I'll switch to green because that's the, the color of the, trend, of the pair right here, epsilon union, now we have this transition, which is B union C. So B union C. Then, and I have to put parentheses right here because of how 
uh, because I'm concatenating this with something else, and that's just how precedence works with uh, union and concatenation. So here I got to have a union b star because that's what's what was on the self loop right here, and then finally to get to Q2 because that's the chosen destination, we got to uh, append onto this an a. So the green transition is this long path to get to Q2 from 0, and the epsilon here is what was already there, and I union them because um, there's, those are two different paths. Okay, so then now I don't need to process this one anymore. I can get rid of it. So then, oh, oh actually, no, never mind. Uh, I, I don't have to process this A transition. My mistake. So then now we got to do the, let's do it in blue. Oops. That's not blue, Q0 to F. So how do we get from Q0 into Q2? Well, that's B union C again. A union B star for the self loop, just like before. But now we have an epsilon concatenated on. And whenever you, you concatenate epsilon, it doesn't change anything. So the transition that we need to add here is, is um, essentially this green part minus this A at the end. So I'm going to have this transition go into F, which is B union C, A union B star. And you may, might start to think, well, th these transitions are starting to get a little big. So here's an, a thing that I, uh, here's a pro tip. What I do is I'm going to rename that regex as R1 and this regex as R2. So... Yeah, so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to label this regex as R1 and this whole regex as being R2. Okay, so then uh, now we can actually simplify this whole machine, which I'm going to do right here. So I'm going to copy this and paste it right here. So now I'm just going to actually delete this transition and this one and just replace it with R1 and R2 just to make our lives a little easier. So, so this one was in blue, that was R1, and this one was in green, this is R2. Okay, Th this is just to make it easier. Um, so now let's just pick whatever state we want to rip. Here we have, I think Q2 is easier. So let's uh, rip Q2. So, uh, make our in and out list. So the in list is going to be Q0, and the out list is going to be Q0 and F, just following the transitions. And no self loop here, which is good. So now what we're going to do is process these in pairs, just like before. Um, let's do in green the Q0 to Q0 pair. So that means that we're going to go R2 concatenated with A, since there's no self loop here. So this um, self loop right here is going to be A union R2A. And you could simplify this to be um, epsilon union R2 concat whole thing concatenated with A, but I'm just going to leave it like this. So then now let's uh, process the other pair, which is Q0 going to F. Well, then that's going to be R2 concatenated with epsilon. And we already have a transition already there, so I'm going to union it with R2. R2 concatenated with, with the empty string is just going to be R2. It doesn't change anything. So, therefore, we can get rid of Q2 now. And now... It, when you have one state, it's really easy what to actually do here. So rip Q0. So here uh, it's pretty clear what the actual uh, machine is going to look like. Well, it's going to be, well, epsilon concatenated with anything. It doesn't change anything. We have this whole thing um, as a self loop. So that's going to be, uh, the whole thing is going to be starred. A union R2A whole thing star concatenated with this thing and because it's a union 
uh, and we're concatenating with the whole thing, we have to put parentheses around it because of precedence. So uh, R1 union R2 here. So then, therefore, the final regex is going to be A union R2A star R1 union R2. And so that's the final regex for this uh, NFA that we chose. So the the transitions were getting a little longer, so we had to do the we had to do the shortening by renaming a regex as something else to make the um, make this um, final regex look presentable at least. But I could substitute in the R1 and the R2 regex that we actually calculated before, and um, then we would get the actual final regex. But this is just the shortened one. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please put them in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out with the growth of the channel. Please share it with as many people as you know who need this, uh, need extra practice. And as always, I'll see you next time.